Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 2, Lesson 5, Defining Equivalent Ratios. The objective says, if I have two ratios, I can decide whether they are equivalent. So equivalent means equal. Do they represent the same thing, either in the exact same amount, or maybe even a smaller or a larger amount? Explain why 6 to 4 and 18 to 8 are not equivalent ratios. Well, I know for ratios to be equivalent, both parts have to be twice, three times, half, or any other same value as big as the original. So if I make both parts 10 times as big, then those are equivalent. If I make both parts 10 times as small, then those are still equivalent to the original ratio. These are some examples that we had in our text that show um, looking at equivalent ratios. So that first one, we can see that both the 9 and the 6 were made 2 times larger to make 9 times 2 is 18 and 6 times 2 is 12. And in this case, both the 9 and the 6 were made 3 times smaller or 1 third as big. So we resulted in a ratio of 3 to 2, which is equivalent to 9 to 6. In this last example, 9 to 6 is not equivalent to 18 to 15. Uh, 9 times 2 is 18, but if I did 6 times 2 uh, for the opposite part of our ratio, I would get 12 and not 15. So this was the result of doubling one part of the ratio, but 2 and a halfing <laughs> the other part of the ratio. All right, so we have 6 to 4 and 18 to 8. So I'm just going to do that same process. I'm going to think to myself, 6 times what gives me 18? Well, I could triple 6 to get 18. But if I tripled 4, 4 times 3 would give me 12. I didn't triple 4, I only doubled it. So if I triple one part and double another part, I'm not going to get the same outcome. If this were a recipe, then the recipe would not taste the same because the amounts would be different than usual. If this were a color mixture, then the color would be lighter or darker than what it usually is because the ratio was not maintained. So 6 to 4 and 18 to 8 8 are not equivalent because it involves tripling the 6 but only doubling the 4. It would not produce the same shade of a color mixture or the same taste of a recipe. Our objective says if I have two ratios I can decide whether they are equivalent. And this strategy right here, and thinking about how many times bigger or smaller each of the parts is, is an excellent strategy for determining if ratios are equivalent. Thanks for watching.